Well, excitement in the air. We've all known about this date for a long time, and the stage is set in the Spanish capital for the UEFA Champions League final. Hello, everyone. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary, as always, on these big occasions by Lee Dixon. And we're approaching kickoff time here at the Estadio Metropolitano. It is Juventus facing Real Madrid. Well, hundreds of millions of people will be tuning into this one. Probably the biggest club game in the world. Pointed end of the tournament. Who's going to come out on top? Well, Derek, we're just about to find out. Very, very excited. Well, he's always at the top of the tree when it comes to football players around the world. Cristiano Ronaldo. What do you especially like about his game, Lee? Well, I like it all. He's, he literally is unplayable. As a defender, I've watched him a lot, try to work out what I'd do against him, but I think I'd just ask for substitution, to be honest with you. Well, with the level of competition in Europe, it really is an incredible achievement to make back-to-back -back finals. Only a few teams can claim that. It's certainly not going to be easy, but I tell you, they've got belief, they've got confidence, and I'm pretty sure they all think they can win it tonight. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Wojciech Szczęsny between the posts. Sami Khedira plays with Miralem Pjanic in the centre of the park. And the main striker is the unmistakable Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Keylor Navas gets the nod in goal. Marcelo starts with Carvajal as fullbacks. Tony Kroos starts with Luka Modric in central midfield. And leading the line today is Karim Benzema. Lovely ball from Douglas Costa. Cristiano Ronaldo. A goal for the Bianconeri. Goal for Juventus in the Champions League final. Well, finals are for heroes. Is that the goal that lifts the trophy? Incisive pass from Douglas Costa, and close to goal, and another goal for the Bianconeri. Big moment for Juventus in this game. And now Ronaldo, running towards goal, one man to beat. Excellent vision from Dybala. And a goal by Cristiano Ronaldo. So typical of him. Gorgeous ball from Dybala. And Ronaldo just needs to remain level-headed. And that's what the Bianconeri wanted. A goal for Juventus. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Lovely ball from Douglas Costa. And they could do damage. And a goal! The training sessions, etc. The sacrifice, the commitment, the desire, the hunger. The look as well, but the application to put all that into a package and then win this brilliant trophy. They do set very high standards for themselves, these Juventus players. But this is something they will remember forever. What a feeling of pride it must give you to be able to say you're part of the team that's the best in Europe League. Well, you know, these players get paid fortunes. Bank accounts are full of money, but it doesn't matter. It's about memories. When you finish your career, you look back at these moments. How many trophies have I won? How many times have I celebrated? 
on a podium with his famous trophy. The buoyant Bianconeri, Juventus, lift the Champions League trophy. Brilliant moment, especially for the captain. He gets his hands on the trophy first. Well, they certainly intend to savour this. Juventus, and they ought to. Doesn't come along every night of the week. Well, this is the moment I love, sharing it with the fans. The ticker tape's coming down, the family's in the stand, giving them all away. But they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment. Fantastic. took fire as well as ice on the pitch now the chance for a photograph my mum always told me to get on the front row she taught you well Lee there we have it the Champions League victors for 2019